for the next three and a half minutes. But the problem starts when you have to add the melody, which goes... I said, I can't do those two things at the same time. Because you get that low bass part, and that high melody, I, I, I don't have enough fingers, not enough digits. You gotta be more, more longer. You can't do that on solo guitar. I said, but if somebody was gonna try to do this tune on solo guitar, here's a real famous horn part. And you couldn't do the tune without the horn part. And the horn part goes. I said, so if I can't do the two parts, I certainly can't do all three. Ergo, you can't do superstition on solo guitar. He says, okay, I understand. Well, go ahead and finish your concert. So I thanked him and I did. Later that night, I was packing up my stuff in this big black crate I was carrying around, down on my hands and knees, winding cables and throwing picks and CDs and t-shirts and stuff in my, in my case. And the manager standing over me, smoking one of those great big manager cigars. The kind that Fido Castro used to smoke. <laughs> the kind that Winston Churchill used to smoke. And I have an uncle who met Winston Churchill shortly after World War II. He said, Peter, a big black limousine pulled up, a door opened, and a cigar exited. <laughs> Followed shortly thereafter by Winston Churchill. <laughs> my manager's tough. You see, my manager doesn't have one of those fancy, um, Cigar and cutter offers? No. My manager takes it and bites it and spits it out right next to me. Do it. And stands there. And she looks at me and says, matter at this point, does it? <laughs> this is for my ever loving cigar smoking manager. Thank mm -hmm. you.